let's find a maximum deflection and rotation with the Timoshenko cantilever and compare the result with Ola Bernoulli. So the governing equations are the bending stiffness by the curvature is equal to the bending moment and the shear correction factor by the area by the shear modulus multiplied by the negative of the shear angle which is a bending angle minus the net rotation of the neutral axis and that's equal to the shear force and now we can take a cut off the beam thereby exposing the internal shear force and bending moment and this cut segment is at a distance x from the support so it has a length of L minus x and therefore using statics by taking a vertical sum of forces we see that the shear force is equal to the point load and then taking moments about this point we see that the bending moment which is negative clockwise minus P by L minus X being the lever arm is zero so therefore the bending moment is equal to P by X minus L and now we can make those substitutions for the bending moment and shear force and then integrating the left equation we have an expression for the bending rotation as Px squared on 2Ei minus PLx on Ei plus a constant of integration now if we apply the boundary condition with the bending rotation at x equals 0 is 0 then we can see that C1 would be 0 and now we can rearrange this equation for dv dx by dividing through by this term so we obtain dv dx is equal to theta minus P on kappa AG and then substituting for theta we obtain dv dx is Px squared on 2Ei minus PLx on Ei minus P on kappa AG and integrating this equation we obtain an expression for the deflection so that will be Px cubed on 6Ei minus PLx squared on 2Ei minus Px on kappa AG plus a constant of integration and now if we apply the boundary condition that the deflection at x equals 0 is 0 at the support well that would give C2 is 0 and now to obtain a maximum rotation we just substitute x equals L so that would give theta at x equals L is equal to PL squared on 2EI minus PL squared on EI which gives minus PL squared on 2EI meaning that the bending rotation at the tip of the cantilever is clockwise and a maximum deflection is a deflection at x equals L so substituting L we have PL cubed on 6EI minus PL cubed on 2EI and then minus PL on kappa AG so this term can be written as 3 on 6 therefore we obtain minus 2 PL cubed on 6EI minus PL on kappa AG and 2 on 6 is the same as 1 third and this here is a maximum deflection which is negative downwards 
and you can substitute for the rotation at x equals L into this expression to obtain a net rotation of the neutral axis, which includes the shear term. 